the question that I got from uh, some people that I would say it deserves to be given attention was the fact that uh, why is it that most uh, pastors become abusive to their families, to their wives, to their kids or, or, or anything of such sort? Because if you look at it out there, there are many pastors, there are many prophets, there are many leaders, let me put it in that bracket, that are a bit abusive when it comes to their family, to their own families, let me put it that way. My opinion, or I would say, what I think is the main cause, there, there is something that happens with human nature when it comes to leadership. Once an individual is enjoyed leader, a leadership chair, or being a leader, these people they, they they have got a feeling that this authority that they have in church or in their organizations they can still apply it in their homes but the truth of the matter is very simple if if a pastor becomes abusive to the family more than the church because definitely these are the people that they don't live with him there are people who, who, who just come and go. But the family, these are the people that he lives with and he stays or spends time with them more than the church members. But then there is an issue here. The pastor now then beckles with the, the, the way the church treats him and the way the, 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 the family then responds to his orders. For example, if a pastor says, prison worship, stop singing. Definitely praise and worship will stop singing. That is what we call submission. For example, if the pastor says, Asha, don't carry that water this way, carry it this way. Don't give me water with one hand. Give me water with both hands or you kneel down. You, you would notice that most church people re, really honor the pastor more than his own family. If you check it very well, because if you go deeper into their lifestyle, if, into their families, the, the, the pastor has failed to bring the culture that is out there into his own family. Now, that's where the error comes in, because if you fail to train your own wife, how then are you going to manage to train an outsider or a church member? Let me put it this way. A church member will obey you, a church member will listen to you, but at the end of the day, the person who should listen to you more is your wife. Now, they become a tension here because most of these wives, those that I have met or those that I, those that I have seen or, or those that I have saw, I, I have noticed their, their cases or their matters on ground. If you check what caused the issue, the, the, the other one is not listening to the other. Now they, they become, uh, they, 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 they arose what we call a battle between wife and, and husband. Then it goes on deeper and deeper to children. Then definitely because the pastor has failed to tame his own wife, the only way he can respond is to be violent. That's where most pastors uh, become violent to their children because or, or to their wives. They, 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 they've exhausted the teaching. <laughs> Most of them, they've exhausted the teaching, they've exhausted all sorts of things because mo mostly, 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 it's a matter of disagreements. If a wife says, I cannot do this, then the pastor will be like, why are you not doing it? Because I am your husband. Mostly these things that cause pastors to be violent and abusive into, in, in their families or in their wives is simple, basically based or caused by the fact that the other is failing to listen to the other. Uh, it, 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 it's a simple logic like that. Uh, once the, the wife fails to listen to what the husband is asking for or commanding at that particular moment, there ar arises a conflict because the pastor would then feel intimidated the pastor then will feel disrespected. Then the pastor will be like, how come at church people listen to me, but in my own home, these people don't listen to me. There are women who are deliberately refusing orders of their husbands, simply because they also want to be felt in their home. But my sister, my, bro uh, my sister, whoever you are, whoever you are, I think by all means necessary, you are, the, you are the first person to be obedient to your pastor. You are the first person to be respectful to your pastor. That's your husband. And then we, we, we take the same culture into other people. 
because at some point you find out that most pastors the the life that they live in church is not the same life that they live at home the treatment that they get in church is not the same treatment that they get at home yes because i've seen it most men of god once they enter a car the wife has started to shout once they enter a car after the service the wife is started to shout until they get home until they you, you understand what i mean so as a woman you need to know that that your your pastor that your husband is your lord i would put it 